we are going to NASA and we're going to watch rockets and spaceman people go leave, to space and come stuff. On, come on. It should be pretty sweet. Hey, hey, we've been working. Um, maybe we can show you guys some top secret stuff. Like where they make the meals ready to eat packs for the space people. Well, are we going to space? We're going to space today. We're going up. We're going to see the moon today. I'm so excited. You've never seen it. I've never mean, seen it. <laughs> never seen the moon. And uh, we're You've going to get actually get to drive a space shuttle today. They're going to launch us into the air, into orbit. We're going to drive it. We're going to turn around and we're going to come back all in, in, in this van. two and a half hours. <laughs> so we can get back for sound check. It's gonna be great. One day at a show, Natalie and I and a bunch of other people were talking about how I attended space camp, and so she decided to mock me and Twitter it. <laughs> Thankfully, she she did, and somebody followed her, and we got an email a couple days later that said, "Do you know Tiffany Thurston?" Because I heard she went to space camp, and it was a guy from NASA named Todd Helner, and he asked if he wanted a backstage pass. Part of the German Camp Tour, and here we are, headed to NASA. The power of Twitter. Who knew? So NASA <laughs> follows you on Twitter? Yeah. I mean, wow. That's kind of out of this world. <laughs> we're touring NASA right now, and uh, we're meeting with some astronauts. And uh, yeah, you didn't know that, did you? That's amazing. So anyway, it's going to be amazing. We'll what, where are we right now? Uh, training facility, I believe, right? In the training yeah. facility. Good. Yeah. Woo. yeah. Just recently helped the Hubble Space Telescope. Sweet. Uh, and uh, Rex, he really doesn't do anything anymore. So, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Now Rex has flown three, like, twice. Awesome. Two shuttle flights. He's also done space walks. Wow. Uh, Whoa. So, sweet. And he tells us what to do. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> He's the guy in charge. This is awesome. Where are you guys going? <laughs> Tuesday, I guess it was, and so this is our, the mock-up where we're trying to worry about how we stow things, where things go, what kind of room we have, and stuff like that. So after you've been on a few missions, do you kind of come down and act as kind of a consultant? Yes, helping? absolutely, and actually in between missions too. Most of the, most of the uh, time you spend as an astronaut is spent, you know, doing that kind of technical jobs. For quite, for quite a while there, I had, I had been I had been here for about 10 years, and I'd spent 10 days in space. So uh, oh, wow. I had one day in space for one year, you've been down here a certain time. You know, it's been taking us since about 2001. So we've been at it for about eight years building the uh, building the space station. And oh, it's, uh, it's getting bigger and bigger, piece by piece, that uh, we, get, we get up there. How long does it take to get up there? We, it takes eight and a half minutes to get to space. That's how much powered flight is. Once in eight and a half minutes, you're in space. Now we don't we, we get up on a slow catch up maneuver, so we don't get docked at the space station the first day. We dock there on the on the uh, third day of the mission. So we do we do that on purpose so we can get used to being in space. So if we're not feeling good, because that happens, a lot of folks aren't feeling good when they first get there. Thank you. <laughs> what a gentleman. Oh, oh you didn't gentleman. even know he was on camera. Actually, I did. I did actually. <laughs> This way, so this would kind of like be the nose. And when we come up in the space shuttle to rendezvous and dock with them, this is where we hook up and right through this hatch. So we'll Great. kind of park it right there. We dock right there and we come on board here. This is where they live. You guys live for? Oh wow! Yeah, these people live here for six months here. In, like, oh my god! Here's the crew quarters right here. This is where oh, this is where they uh, sleep and stuff. Wow! Are you kidding? No, and it's it's comfy. You don't want it too so big because you have to reach over. Exactly. Yeah. There's little we have little bunks that we yeah, sleep in. They're standing up. <laughs> this is the U.S. laboratory module. This is a, this is where all the science is done. These two workstations right here. This is where we fly the robotic arm. You know, we have a about a 50 foot robotic arm and we can maneuver around the space station to grab onto objects or to fly a spacewalker on the end. When I did my spacewalk, you can, we can attach our heels to the end of the, the robot arm and they can drive you in like a cherry picker and I have both arms free now. I can grab huge objects and take them over here and, wow. and work like that. So that works wow. out great. But they do that here with this workstation looking only at computer views and video screens. So all the stuff, they, uh, all the uh, uh, clearance and avoidance of hitting things, all that is done by, by basically by displays. They don't look out the window because they got better uh, graphics this way. Yeah. When so, you're out there, yeah, is it just nuts? Like with nothing around? It is. It's, it's a little bit, you know, it, 
the, your first view is it's, it's pretty spectacular just looking out the window, but when yeah. you open a hatch and you're looking straight down at the earth 200 miles below you, it's a, it's a pretty exciting, wow. uh, pretty exciting view wow. you got there. And so for a while there, your heart goes dum 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 dum. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I, I know how to do this and stuff. And what they tell you, and they told me, and it really was true, is once you get up there, it'll feel like you've been there before because we have a big pool we practice with the full full size model of the space station in it. Wow. And so we can practice all our all our outside tasks. They're in water, mutually buoyant, and, and you practice walking back and forth, and you do it, you know, seven times, seven or eight times each spacewalk. And so then you get out there, and it feels like you've been there before. Yeah, this this looks. I mean, look, the view's a whole lot better. Uh, this basically is the uh, international border. So when you go back here, this is the uh, the Russian segment of the space station. So they check your passport and they stamp it before you go back over. <laughs> 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 totally believe it. <laughs> <laughs> but the fun part about the next module down there, we'll kind of walk by it later. Is you see, all this is a very high tech laboratory module. There's all sorts of experiments on there. You don't want to mess anything up there. But you know, you go in space, you got to play Superman once in a while. Yeah, and so right. this is a great module down there. So what you can do is, you, and these would be attached here. But you, there's nothing to kick in that module. It's all Velcro on the walls and stuff. So you, you, the real fun thing is to try to push yourself off and see if you can float all the way through the module without hitting anything. Are you serious? Now that it hard. sounds easy, right? How hard can it be to, to float through that hole? Well, you have to have the exact right vector to go in there because if you push it, if you're just a little bit off, there's, there's no way to correct. So you're going, oh no, oh no, and then you can hit your head on something. But yeah. oh, you can't correct. Oh, see, once you, can't you yeah, once you float, that. and that's the other thing oh. about about translating in zero g is you can push off as fast as you want. And you're going to keep going just that fast all the way to the end of the space station until you hit something because you're not going to slow down. <laughs> and so you got to be very careful. As fun as it is to go fast, it's not so fun if you start twirling or something and then you can't see where you're going oh, or something. Oh, so, so wow. it's, uh, it's a bit of a awesome. So you kind of want to sometimes just push slow. So yeah, exactly. When I when I go through the station, I'm just kind of going about this speed, you know. And then the harder part also is to turn corners. This corner especially. You come through here in the in the, in the lab. You go all the way to the lab and. Then you got You're going a certain, and you want to turn this way. Well, if you grab this, you're going to play that like, crack the whip. Whoa! So oh. you have to, you know, not be going too fast. Or, uh, yeah. up. So the, this is why these are here, so they can you guys. Can yes, hold exactly. On. Those are our handholds, and so that's how we Gravity don't use our feet in space, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Except the whole lot. This is our airlock. So this is uh, this is how we do our spacewalks. We usually have two spacesuits here. That's where we get into our spacesuits. We put them on, and the guys help us put them on. And once you get your spacesuit on, you can't just open the hatch because if you do that, all the air on the space station will go out, right? And so you have to have a special room called the airlock, and that's yep. what this room is right here. So we put our suits on, do all the checks. It takes a couple hours. Oh they gosh. cram us in here, and then they put this hatch down here, and you close it. Now just this volume is sealed up, and then you can let all the air out of this segment, and then you can open the hatch you see right there on the floor. And open it up and go outside and work. Did you say a couple oh, okay. hours? Yeah, it takes about a couple ready. hours to get ready. Wow. Spacewalks last anywhere from six to eight hours. You're out so, there for that long? Yeah, yeah. And, so and it's, a, it's a long day. How is the food up there? The food's pretty good. We have all sorts of food we can try. We taste it uh, beforehand in a, in a tasting session and we can kind of see what we like and what we don't like and then you order a menu based on what you like. And they got quite a bit of stuff, you know, it's some, some of the stuff like the Army Eats Meals Ready Eat MREs. You've probably heard of those yeah, before. Yeah, sure. So you just cut them up and eat them. Other yeah. ones you, you rehydrate, you add water to them. And, uh, so Do you work out up there? Yeah, you, you know, the, especially the guys who stay up there for six months, they yeah. have to work out. They get a two-hour period to work out each day based on a treadmill, a bike, or there's some various other uh, resistive yeah. exercises they have. It's very, very important because they get bone loss because there's some real problems. Now, oh, wow. for us short-timers, if we're only up there for a week, um, it's not as critical to be exercised because when we go out and do a spacewalk, that's really strong exercise right there. So we, it's mostly upper body. Yeah. So when I did three spacewalks in the last mission, you know, I got plenty of work out there. And then toward the end of the mission, you're like, okay, I've got an hour to exercise or an hour to walk out to, to look out the window. Uh, what do you think is going to win out? Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. What'd you get? A picture of me and the stuff. It's awesome. Wow. I'm kind of in awe. This is kind of crazy. I want to go to space now. We'll make it happen. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Leaf. Oh my gosh. <laughs>